Children, aid workers and media houses have not been spared in the past nine days during the bombardment of Palestine by Israel. Well, the Palestinian embassy in Pretoria has opened its doors to those sympathetic to the cause of the Palestinians to come and show support. Joining me now is the Palestinian councillor to South Africa, Hassona Al-Dramli. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Can you just give us the reason why you decided to open your doors to the public today? Thank you very much. Uh, it's an honor to, uh, to be with you today to speak about uh, why we are opening our uh, embassy gate for the public of South Africa. Uh, as I always say that South Africa is the core of the international solidarity with the Palestinian people. We are here today inviting the uh, civil society of South African people, the community who are living in South Africa, uh, to, to visit Palestine, uh, to show solidarity with the Palestinian people, uh, to express their uh, their sadness, to express their anger, to express their uh, their love and passionate and uh, with the Palestinian people, because you know uh, historically we linked and we shared the similarity of of South African experience. Uh, uh, South Africa was under apartheid regime, and uh, Palestine is still uh, under occupation, uh, under apartheid. Palestine is the last country in the world who is experiencing uh, the colonial apartheid. Uh, regime uh, which is Israel. We are here to create awareness about the Palestinian cause uh, in general and also we would like also uh, to brief the people of South Africa about the atrocities uh, against the Palestinian people to, to expose what the Israelis uh, soldier, uh, how they are using all uh, developed uh, military weapon against our civilians, against our children, against, against our uh, elder, against our against our uh, uh, women and against the humanity because what is happening right now it's falls of, of, of uh, humanity of the international world because of the silence uh, for what is happening uh, in, in Palestine. The Palestinian children are slaughtering in Palestine. The Palestinian children are, are destroyed um, emotionally. Uh, yesterday I received uh, different videos from Palestine uh, regarding the Palestinian children. It's, it really was, was, you know, I saw those children how they uh, been killed not physically not killed by their body they called by their dreams they, they killed by their own dreams they killed by their uh, 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 opening life uh, for, uh, they killed the future of those uh, children that's what Israel is doing they need you know uh, 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 the Palestinian children to be raised with fear Yes. If I may interject there, the fact that you know the vulnerable members of society are the ones being targeted by military uh, uh, attacks. Uh, what is your reaction uh, to the international society's reaction to what is happening, particularly the Biden uh, uh, administration, which said it's going to prioritize uh, human rights? What to prioritizing? What kind of brutalizing, you know, uh, to, to brutalize uh, the, the Palestinian cause, uh, to, to enhance the Israelis, to, in, to, to be engaged with the Palestinian peace process? Is that the brutalizing of America? Biden won the election of America, and he, he was brutalizing other issues in the Middle East. For example, Iran, Yemen, uh, different issues, but not Palestine. But after America, witnessed and saw the movement of the Palestinian people and the people from different countries in Arab region. America moved because the, the America want to protect their interests in the Middle East. America want to protect the colonial, colonial apartheid regime in Palestine because of the interest of the Western and the interest of America. We saw the result of the solidarity of the, of, of the international community in South Africa was the freedom for the, for the South African solidarity. Where is the international solidarity? Where is the sanction on the Israeli regime? Where is, you know, they didn't right now, we didn't see any real action that that been taken by, against Israel, like isolation or boycotting or anything. There is different civil society movement leading that kind of action against Israel. Right now, we didn't see any country in, called the Israeli ambassador where he based to speak about this atroci atrocities against the Palestinian people. That's what is happening. The interest of America, they would like, they want to calm the situation down. To protect, to protect Israelis from what is happening. And if you are talking about Sheikh Jarrah, the annexing the houses of 
innocent Palestinian people to be replaced by the settlers. Is it the right of, of, uh, of America to protect, to protect kind of aggression against the innocent people? If you look at Gaza, it's children, women, houses, destruction everywhere. What kind, what kind of priority, priority that America is want to show the Palestinian and the international community? If he has the intention, if America has the right intention to engage the Palestinian and the Israelis together on one table for negotiation under one condition, to implement the international, United Nations international resolution would give the Palestinians the right to establish their own state with the Jerusalem its capital. That is the right engagement. Otherwise, there is no engagement. Thank you. Uh, Councillor, if you can just tell us, I know that South Africa is part of, is part of the countries that have openly supported uh, uh, the state of Palestine. But do you believe that uh, with the countries that have openly supported you against the powers that be that are keeping quiet, do you think uh, there might be progress made, especially against uh, uh, the, the, the occupation? Uh, actually, uh, on behalf of my uh, leadership, uh, my people, uh, I would like to, exp to express my deep appreciation and gratitude for South African people and the government of South Africa for a progressive support uh, toward Palestinian cause, the Palestinian uh, people. Uh, the South African government, uh, especially DIRCO, uh, released two statements in, con in, con in, in con condemnation of the Israeli action against Palestinian. And the president also announced and declared a few things about the cause of Palestine, which also in the same concept of uh, in line with, in line of uh, uh, Dirko statements, but also as a Palestinian, uh, we would like to. Uh, we are expecting more from uh, a friendly country, uh, comradely country uh, like South Africa, because uh, they have uh, experience of dealing with the international community. In in, in uh, you know during their uh, you know experience under the apartheid regime, we need. Uh, we are expecting more progressive uh, uh, you know action. Uh, we need South Africa to lead. Uh, the international uh, community uh, towards sanctioning uh, Israel uh, of what we of, of uh, what they are doing in uh, in Palestine in Gaza West Bank, we need to see South Africa in advanced position in in, 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 the, in the, with the international community to speak about the atrocities against the Palestinian people. We need the people of South Africa also to be uh, to be uh, you know engaged with the government, working together to to get the the the, the, the you know uh, the uh, the result that it should be for the interests of the Palestinian. People. Thank you so much. Uh, that was the Palestinian councillor to South Africa, Mr. Hassona Aldrami, actually calling on the civil society and the South African government uh, to try and support the Palestinian state, saying that as South Africa we have experience of engaging with the international community and could come handy in the fight against the occupation of uh, Palestine by Israel.